This is the compressor plugin that you had no idea you needed. And you also don't know about all these really cool under the hood special features. So I want to show you this plugin today because it's been finding my its way on almost every mastering bus that I'm using now. And uh, it's exciting. Let's go. Radium Pow, plugin of the week. Let's get into it. Compressors. Sorry, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> all right so this compressor looks really simple it's the weiss compressor limiter um it was actually programmed and put out by SoftTube. but the coolest part about this weiss compressor is you can actually get the analog because it's actually a digital this weiss is a digital unit right but you can get the analog rack mounted version of this and it's gonna cost you seven, eight thousand dollars right? So you can find this in mastering studios around the world. Um, a lot of mixing engineers now using it. I'm using it on my master bus, but why am I using it on my master bus? That's what you wanna know, right? First, you gotta hit that like button. <laughs> it's a little trick I learned from all these YouTubers. Gotta smash the like button, then I'm gonna show you, all right? Uh, this compressor is super dope and I'm finding that it's actually like replacing a lot of my SSL compressors I would have on here. The Townhouse compressor by BX Digital or the SSL from Waves or UAD, etc. Um, and this kind of is way more powerful. And I'll show you a couple of things that make it super powerful because it took me a while to figure out these things, but everything's under the hood. So let's look at the, the GUI GUI kind of vibe first. It's very clean. It's very... Um, almost mathematical sciency and I don't like that part of it. I just don't like sciency looking shit. Like this looks way cooler, right? Like I'm like, whoa, that looks fun. You know, it looks dirty. Uh, this looks like we're gonna go uh, do some surgery. We're gonna do some precision work, which it makes sense. This is precision shit. So let's talk about what we have here because that's the first thing you guys wanna know, right? Is how do we use this thing and what is this? So first of all, you have displays here. You have knee, you have the frequency and you have the waveform. You can get rid of the knee, put it in or out. That's just showing you how hard it's compressing. Meaning when you go here, you have a really soft knee, which means it takes more time to hit the compressor um, or you can go really hard where once it hits the threshold, it's gonna compress. It's gonna limit, that's limit, hard knee, right? Or soft knee. I like kind of in the middle. I like this a softer knee on masters, depending on how fast the track is, etc. cetera. Um, you wanna mess with your knee, right? I'm not gonna talk about compression here. I'm just gonna talk about this limiter and uh, the different variations of it, like what it does. Okay, so knee, you got frequency. This is gonna show you all your frequencies. Now this is a very important window and we'll get into that in a bit here and why this is probably the most powerful window in this whole thing that I just literally didn't even think about. All right, okay, so that's your frequency. Then this is your waveform. This is gonna show the waveform plane. You can do look ahead processing so it can show it and it shows your compression happening on the waveform. IE, I'll show you what that looks like right now as we play this track, this new unreleased track from Bradley Denniston. Okay, that's all you get. Just a little teaser. Wait a minute. You. But you see how the waveform was happening over time and you show the, it shows the compression, attack, release, etc. Now let's get into the attack and release and all that stuff. Uh, you have your threshold here. And as we bring this this way, which would be counterclockwise, you're going to get a lot more compression. You're basically bringing the threshold down. And a good way to see this actually is go to the frequency window. Again, I said this is an important window to this plugin. It's something you should keep your eye on. Um, and I just figured all this out on my own. You guys can read the manual if you want to, right? Like I say, this plugin of the week is not about me going through every feature. I'm just going to show you how I use this plugin and how it can be used uh, really cool ways. So threshold, you can see it right there as you bring it down, it's going to compress more, right? You got your DB over here. You can also grab this and bring it up and down. And then you have the knee, which I already showed you. Then you got the ratio. So you have a ratio as you bring it this way. You could also see a readout up here, as you can see. It says ratio one. It says one to, you know, 93, 1.93 to one. Like it gets super precise. Look at, 
1,000 to 1, right? So if you're paying attention up here, right, 2.3 to 1. Uh, you can get like really, really small amounts of ratio, which is awesome about this compressor limiter. I like it if you're going to be limiting, you're obviously going to be like eight to one or so, but um, I like to actually compress and parallel mix it in on the master bus. I'll show you why. Okay. So my ratio, I'm usually going to keep it probably around here. So I want it pretty high um, or pretty low. Uh, like I go two to one, two and a half to one, etc. I think that's like a really good spot for this. It's, it's just musical to me. Um, and then I'll mess with the threshold and the knee. And then here's your attack. That's going to show you in milliseconds up here, 2.2 uh, 2 milliseconds, 16. I mean, honestly, you want the attack pretty uh, quick for something that's going to be kind of transient heavy. For me, I like to have it like, you know, uh, three maybe, you know, three milliseconds or so. You could even go two. Um, but this is, this is like, you know, you can go all the way up to 600, let's see, 800 milliseconds. So that's, it's pretty long. Um, but if you want your attack to come through, like on your kicks and stuff before it compresses, I like to set it around here, like 1.5 milliseconds is good. Um, for me personally, it depends on the BPM of the record for this record. You might want to like bring it up a little bit. You might want to go to like, you know, 2.5 milliseconds release here, uh, pretty fast, or you can go really, uh, you know, 8,000 milliseconds, or you can go 0 0.02 milliseconds. I like to keep this pretty quick, uh, just because I find if you have your release too long on a lot of compressors, especially on your master bus, big tip, guys, are you paying attention? If you put the release too long on your master bus, you're going to squash all of your high end, okay? Um, if you get that, you got to find that sweet spot on your release, so go fast enough to where your high end starts opening back up again. And you wanna find that perfect zone where it's like, yeah, I'm getting that high end, but just enough, right? Like it's that warm high end. So mess around with the release as you listen to the high end, right? Super important. All right, little, little trick for you for setting your limiter. A lot of people leave your leave their limiters too long of a release because it's like in a preset or something and uh, they fuck up their shit. All right, so parallel mix, that's gonna say 100%, right? Or you can go like fully wet or you can go halfway wet. I like to parallel it. That's just how I like to use this processor. You could use it however you want. Uh, you got A, B, you can like do something and then you can go to B and you can tweak this. So you kind of A, B different things really quick. I love that because in mastering, like for example, you might want to go bam and just like match these settings a little bit, right? You might want to go like, okay, I want a little more compression here, um, but I want the knee to be the same and I want the ratio to be the same and all the things to be the same besides the threshold. And then you can just go A, B like, oh, okay, it's a little more, a little less, right? Ooh, I'm in between those two, etc. cetera. Um, now, this is where you get all the powerful stuff I'm going to tell you about, okay? A, B, cool, uh, the filters. This is massive. This is something people skip out on this, on this compressor and why it's so important. Uh, you can literally pick your frequencies and filters. Uh, so let me show you what that sounds like on the master bus as we listen to this. You left me out in the cold of Okay, super important aspect of this is that when you start to compress on a stereo bus and you're compressing the full range, you're literally putting a limiter on, right? But sometimes you might want to just find a way to compress the mids a little bit more, like the mid range, and you wanna leave out the sub information, right? So the way you do that on this plugin is you go to the bandpass filter, uh, really it's, you know, low pass, high pass, but then you can pick the width of it. So you can scroll down here and you can say, I want this really wide. And then you could come up here. And if you go to the very top, you can pick the frequency. So you just drag left and right. All right. So like you want to cut everything below, you know, a certain frequency, you go like, you know, down here, you can find just the mid range you want to, uh, you want to mess with. And then you could turn the threshold up and down here. Okay. And then what you use is this is the output gain here, but this is actually the limiter gain, okay? So this is kind of like how much you're pushing, uh, limiting, like gain, gaining up, right? Um, like post gain sort of thing, like makeup gain. Sorry, I couldn't figure it out, figure out the word. But so let's listen to this. I want to show you this on the band pass because it's really powerful here. You left me out in the cold of December. This frozen
so listening to that part over and over again might drive me crazy, but <laughs> and maybe you as well. But this is what we're doing. We're basically just using this as like a band pass, right? Uh, which is incredibly cool. It's not a multi-band uh, compressor limiter. It's literally just limiting the frequency of where you're compressing. So it's saying, I only want to, I don't want to compress this high stuff. I don't want to compress this low stuff, which is awesome. If you want to use this in a chain, like I'm using it, where I have an EQ compression already, I'm just using this maybe to balance and compress more of the mid range or find the vocal area and push the vocal forward a little bit. Right. Sometimes you can do that in mastering. Um, or sometimes you just want to do it on your overall mix rather than having to go in and, you know, compress the vocal and then all of a sudden your whole thing like kind of falls apart, right? So that's really, really powerful. And then it also has a, a low filter, which is cool as well. So you can just compress this part, just the low end. And again, you just go to the bottom uh, is usually going to be your frequency if you're using this. So you can uh, do the width of the frequency. Um, you go to the middle, you got your threshold, and then the top is gonna be the frequency so you can bring it up and down in the scope. That's super powerful. And like, there's so much more to this plugin and I won't get into like all the crazy detail that's going on here, but um, that's the filters. Uh, then you have the ganged, you can gang all the controls. You got channel one, channel two, so you can control different channels. Um, I'm not really sure what that does. I don't really care. I think it's probably just saying like, hey, if you want to do an A-B kind of comparison, maybe you have two channels there. Cool. I don't know. Uh, you can look that up in the manual. I don't use that feature. So mid-side, of course, you could turn that on and off. You could just do, you can do mid-side compression here, limiting. I love this plugin because you can really like tone dial in, right? And um, you could use this as a limiter, the final thing in your stage. This is a very, very expensive hardware unit. So to have it at our fingertips now for just a couple hundred bucks two, 300 bucks is a pretty incredible tool right thanks for tuning in that's a lot of information plug into the week uh go out and buy this if you're an expert mastering mixing engineer and you're making money making mixes otherwise hire me <laughs> and i'll do it for you All right uh, click that link in the description and uh, let's work together email me i'll see if i got some availability shoot me the song i want to hear it i'll get some shit going let's get it popping plug in the week i'm out